What's going on guys? It's Jesse. Uh, I got a really interesting topic and it's something that I feel that could benefit a lot of you. Uh, a friend of mine sent me an email this morning and he said, uh, he said, man, I, I've been experiencing a long time period of stress and it's caused me muscle spasms in my stomach, pain in my stomach. Uh, and, and I know lots of people before they, uh, when they get nervous, they'll you know, they have to go to the bathroom, they'll get sick. So I was like, man, this would be a perfect topic to post because it is health related. And lots of you know me as the health guy. So I'm going to give it a whack. Maybe I can help. Maybe I don't. But I'm not a doctor. Nothing I'm saying here has been approved by FDA. Whatever I have to say that. Um, so basically, guys, stress. What is stress? He's been experiencing stress. It's enzymes that are shot out from your brain through nerve bundles into the body, into muscles. When we experience adrenaline, your brain shoots adrenaline through nerve bundles into the body and makes us either fight or flight. Either you run or you stay and fight. Okay? Uh, so when our body experiences, though, too much stress or a long period of time, we develop muscle rigidities. Which that's uh that's bad performance of the muscles. Muscle rigidities, that's basically like hardening and tightening of the muscles. You see kids when they get mad, they go like this right here, they go like they just tighten up the stomp. And that's kind of what our muscles are doing over time. Uh neurotic holding patterns, that's when our nerve bundles get damaged by receiving too much. Basically it's like pumping bad gas into your car. Very similar. Now why is that affecting right here, though? Why is that affecting your stomach? Because of visceral somatic inhibition. What the crap did he just say? Visceral somatic inhibition, that is when, and if you can't read this, just follow me. Visceral somatic inhibition, that's muscles that are in the same neurological loop stop working properly. Okay? For instance, when people are having a heart attack, their left arm goes numb. Uh, it's weird because my heart's here, not over here. What's going on? That's because you're at the same neurological loop. Your heart runs through your left arm. Same nerve bundle. We have seven of them in our body. Seven main nerve bundles. Okay. And I'm here to tell you the one in the uh, so 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 sagittal. I'm going to say that. So sagittal plexus. Here's your solar plexus. Up here. This is your sagittal plexus takes a beating. These nerve bundles takes a beating when we're stressed because for some reason our brain loves to send those nerves and enzymes right here. That's why we get sick a lot when we're nervous. You see actors or musicians before they take stage, yeah, they're in the bathroom puking before they take the stage. Why? Because visceral somatic inhibition. That could cause muscles to work improperly. Now, have you been experiencing lower back pain? Pain in your hips. Some people do because obviously muscles hold your hips together in place, in neutral position. Well, if those muscles in this nerve vortex section stop working properly, uh, it could cause you to have an anterior pelvic tilt, which is your butt will poke out. And I'll show you that here in a minute. We call that the Donald Duck butt. <laughs> All right. Uh, but basically what you guys want to know is enough of the scientific stuff. What can you do besides going to the doctor and get pills, 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 pills? What can you do to cure uh, the visceral somatic inhibition that has been causing you spasms and pain? I'm going to show you. Uh, proper diet. Lots of things we eat, especially in modern day society. Our foods are full of antibiotics, uh, histamines, Stuff that causes inflammatory. That's why people with osteoarthritis, like me, have to, uh, is suggested that we go on a Mediterranean diet, which is, uh, basically foods that are full of antioxidants and anti inflammatories. So, what you want to do, man, is because I'm telling you, a lot of the reason why you're experiencing, like, the irritable bowels and stuff like that is because the damage in your nerve vortex here, uh, has caused you. Uh, in some inflammation to be produced. Inflammation, okay? So you want 
foods like uh, honey, do a tablespoon of honey in the morning, raw honey, and instead of, hey, instead of coffee, do some detox water. 12 ounces of water, whole tablespoon of lemon juice, or a whole freshly squeezed lemon, lemon with half cut, uh, half cut up diced cucumber. Okay, uh, it's, it's actually not that bad. Uh, another thing you want to do is stretch your hip flexors, man, because most likely, whether you know it or not, slowly but surely, I promise your hips are getting out of line, and that's going to cause you some pain in, in, down the road. Stretch your hip flexors, I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, the muscle spasms, that's caused, that has most likely caused your deep abdominal wall to get weak. And so we want to strengthen that back up. But I'm not going to recommend you do crunches. I'm going to recommend you do uh, a deep abdominal wall strengthening exercise called the vacuum. I'll show you that here in a minute. So I'm going to show you, uh, let's recap. Switch up your diet, dude. No more honey buns, coffee cakes, uh, you know, fried foods, Cokes, honey. Do some vitamin C, detox water. Strengthen your deep abdominal wall and do some uh, deep stomach vacuums. There's your solution. So I'm going to set my camera down and show you what the heck stretching your hip flexors. This is the Donald Duck butt. This is what's going to happen. If your muscles here in this nerve vortex stops working properly, it's going to give you the Donald Duck butt. I wish my butt looked like that. But I ain't got no booty. Basically, I'm going to show you how to stretch your hip flexors that will align your stuff. Okay. Get on one knee. Tilt forward just like this. Okay. Tilt forward. If you want to switch, cool. Tilt forward. That's going to help. Okay. Uh, now let's move on to the deep down the wall. It's called a vacuum. It's going to look freaky. Oh well. We want the cure. We're tired of the spasms and pain. So here we go. Get down on all fours. And move my camera. Get down on all fours. Lift my shirt up to show you what's going on. Get down on all fours. Let your belly poke out. Suck your belly button in. And you want your ribs to like show. Just like that. Call it 10 seconds. Release. Just like that. That's going to get your muscles and your uh, abdomen working properly. This is important. Okay. Set the camera back up here. So, guys, I hope you got something out of that. Uh, hope you learned something. I know the visceral somatic inhibition is probably all new to you, but it's real. Uh, things I recommend, they do work, so try them. And let me know what's going on. This is Jesse. I'm out.